Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe from GadgetTech.com and today's going to be a short video. I'm basically just going to show you how to unlink a Roblox account from an Xbox Live profile. Uh, I've run into this uh, for personal reasons. I've had family and friends call me and ask me about this. So I figured I'd make a quick video to help explain it. Basically, if you have an Xbox Live profile that you used to share with somebody, uh, a family member, friend, whatever it is, they got a new console or gamer tag and they want all of the Roblox stuff that they've earned and spent all that time on on the new Xbox gamer tag because you still want to play on your existing one for other games, for example. Uh, you, you have to unlink Roblox because if you don't, you can't both be online at the same time. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to walk you through that process and hopefully this helps address issues that you may have run into after getting a new console and creating a profile for the little one because when you start spending all that time, real Robux, et cetera, you don't want to throw out all that work. It could be years of work. So anyway, with that being said, we're going to dive in and hopefully you find this helpful and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first step of this process is to successfully log into your Roblox account on the Roblox website. So for this part, you'll need a computer and a web browser and you'll need to know your Roblox username and password. For some, it'll be the same username as your existing Xbox account. Uh, same thing with the password. If for any reason you forget it, just click forgot password or username to go through the recovery process. I can't help with password recovery, but um, this tutorial will assume that you can access your account. So if once you've been able to successfully log in, we're going to do that now. And we don't really care about anything on the home page. What's important is to go into your profile settings. So we're going to click the cog wheel on the top right corner and then, then click settings. Once we've clicked settings, you're going to see some information about your account, about email, phone number, birth date, username, etc. We want to click on security on the left side here. So if you can see um, just below my settings, you'll see account info, then security. Once we've clicked security, you're going to see uh, obviously security settings with your account. However, if you scroll down, you will see Xbox and it'll say it's connected with an Xbox an account. This is what your existing Xbox gamer tag is associated to. So if you want to remove your Roblox account from your Xbox account, click disconnect. Now it's important that no one is playing on that Xbox profile um, on Roblox. They can be playing other games, but if Roblox is open and playing, you'll want to sign out before you do this. So you click disconnect. It'll ask if you're sure. You'll hit yes, and then it'll remove this Roblox account from your old Xbox account. Uh, uh, gamer tag. Now there's one important note before we go to the next step which is uh, attaching it to the new Xbox account there are one there's one hugely important detail and that's under personal for some reason with Roblox and Xbox the birthday has to match and this is half of the problems that people have uh, associating it or logging into the new account where they get errors is because the birthday on the Roblox account does not match the birthday that you created on the Xbox Live account for the new pro profile. So if you set up an Xbox account for your child, for example, and you put a valid birth date and it's in the 2000s, but the birthday listed on Roblox is 19, you know, whatever it is, it will not let you associate the account and you'll have problems. So it's up to you how you want to fix this, whether it be update the password or the date of birth on roblox.com or update the date of birth on Xbox Live's website so the new account has a matching date. Once you set up a child account on Roblox, if we change this to um, an age that would make the child go into a child, uh, or the account go into child account mode, uh, there will be restrictions that you cannot disable until the appropriate age has passed. So I usually prefer to keep Roblox uh, set up with an, a grown-up's date of birth. You can still put restrictions on it to disable uh, chat and things like that without making it a child account, but it just makes it easier for attaching it to Microsoft. So just to wrap up, security, you disconnect on your existing Xbox account while signed out uh, on Xbox, and then go to account info and just take note of the date of birth to make sure that it matches Xbox. Okay, so we're just going to quickly show you the xbox.com webpage because it's important to note uh, or at least find out where to find the date of birth so you know how to uh, modify it or confirm that it matches your Roblox account. Now, if you don't already have a second Xbox account, 
or your child or other person that you are migrating Roblox to, make sure you have that Xbox account ready and created. When you click sign in on the top right hand corner here, one of the options will be to create a new account. And that's where you'll create your gamer tag, uh, your fill out your email, uh, recovery address, your, your name, date of birth, etc. So if you're making a new account, just you, to make it simpler, uh, make it match the Roblox account as long as uh, you're happy with those dates. And that'll make this uh, linking process simpler. So once we've signed into our Xbox Live account on xbox.com, you're going to click your gamer tag on the top right hand corner. Then you want to click my Microsoft account, not Xbox profile. Even though we're working on Xbox stuff, this is where you check your date of birth. So click on my Microsoft account. And this will give you a bunch of information here. It's, it's good to know, but it's not what we care about. The real trick to save time is on the top left corner of this browser, you're going to see something that says your info. We're going to click that. Once the info page loads, we'll see a, our nickname, our name that we provided, the email address. And here we go. This is the date of birth right here. This is where you would modify it. So if your Roblox account is already set, but your Xbox profile is wrong, you'll edit your date of birth here and make sure it matches. Now you might need to wait, uh, you know, an hour or so before trying to link it in case you still have errors. Um, Microsoft will have to update your profile across all the servers. So if it's not working, just wait a little bit. Uh, once you know the date of birth's match, it will eventually work. It's just a matter of time. Okay, now that we've unlinked the account, if I go to my existing Xbox profile that that Roblox account used to be tied to, and I launch the game, let's see what happens here. And we'll press A to begin. And now, sure enough, it's asking me to sign up. So I, un I successfully unlinked my Roblox account from my existing Xbox Live profile. Once you've switched to the new Xbox Live profile that you want the existing Roblox account associated to, we're gonna click on sign in here at the bottom. And then you're gonna type in your Roblox username and password that you had used on the internet uh, when you unlinked the Roblox account from your existing Xbox profile. So you enter those credentials here, and once you've done that, that Roblox account is now associated to this uh, new gamer tag that you just set up, and it's as simple as that. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful, and you are now up and running with your Roblox account on a new Xbox gamer tag. I love this because now you're free to play on your old account, and the person who used to share the account with you, or whatever the reason may be, they can just keep playing uh, and they didn't lose all those hours or days of work and progress over the years. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it certainly helps with others finding this channel. We are growing very quickly, so thank you so much for all the support, as always, and I will see you next time.